Greenville, Florida today. Um, trucks over there, I got 200 foot of hose pulled here. We're running right now. Went ahead and did some property protection. Sprayed all these plants down. I'm gonna walk around this way, show you what I did under here. This uh, barn dominium, beautiful piece of property, beautiful countryside. And uh, they just got typical mold, mildew, algae buildup all over the place. We did property protection here. I uh, ran out of that red stucco tape, so we had to use that, but just, it's just the basic stuff. A little bit of dinge, dirt, algae up, up in the, uh, up in the eaves there got property protection here like i said we're pulled on 200 foot of hose all the way around you can see they got some dirt dauber nests a little bit of a little bit of nastiness everywhere property protection guys super important we're going to go over here we already did our pre-wet on all the on all the plants all the way around we're about to start applying chemicals client was nice enough to move all of the stuff out from under this bay and it moved all their plants away from the house so kind of made it easier on us we're gonna go ahead and start applying chemicals down here on this far end wash our way around and under the portico or carport or breezeway whatever you want to call it this is the sunny side and it's it's hot today it's a good one good day to wash good hot day me and my family had a good time at the beach um, so much so in fact that me and the wife got rid of the kids went to Jacksonville and that was fun so we're gonna be shooting a about a 1% 1.25% on this place you know I've seen guys wash metal buildings with I don't know, 3%. It doesn't take all of that. Not always. Sometimes it does. It, re it really just depends on the building. Um, depends on the situation. You know, each, each situation is different. Each one is unique. You just got to kind of learn to play it by ear. And so, waiting on chemicals here. We're going to go ahead and get started. I'll probably soak two sides at a time on this job and rinse my way back around. I've taken some much needed time off, kind of reset my mind, reset the things that I've got going on. There's chemicals right there and it's been been much needed I'll, I'll say that it's been very very helpful I feel blessed to be in this business to be able to take the time off so as you guys know the shop at my house pretty much the same this is the same metal uh, same color as well um, and I wash my shop, uh, not as much as I should, but I do, I do wash it. And when I do, it turns out really great. So I'm pretty confident in the way that this little barn dominium is going to work out. It's going to clean up nice for these people. They're really good people. And that's the thing, you know, you don't always get a really good client. These, these people seem like really down to earth, uh, salt of the earth kind of people, so that's always a good thing. You know, I was just at a client's house. Um, I didn't video it. I, I still like doing some washing for myself. And I think I'm gonna keep it that way where some sometimes I just do it on my own. I get to think, but client I had was not super down to earth they were very very nitpicky and 
nothing wrong with that. It's their home. I don't blame them. But it does make it does make it more difficult on you uh, as a person washing. You know, I get a little bit of I don't know what you'd call it performance anxiety. I reckon because you feel like they're watching your every move and you're not able to not able to make a mistake, not able to practice a new method or you know stumble because you're the professional but you know guys that's part of part of this business and I'm not telling you anything new I'm not saying anything you don't already know it's just the reality of it some people are cool and some people aren't I mean and thankfully these people are pretty cool So I'm going to be quiet and I'm just going to wash now. I have to switch hands because I do. I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the process. Maybe I can do a good job at getting it on video. Okay, I'm gonna switch it over to rinse and rinse this off. Doesn't really need much dwell time, super hot today. So, like a hot dog. wet rag so anyways that's how you wash a metal building property protection is number one number two start at a one percent mix uh, don't start on something hot possibility of flashing something possibility of burning plants you don't want to do that number three do a really high volume rinse and get cool clients um, that's about it. I mean, people who live in a barn dominium don't get much cooler than that, so, you know, keep the rig. Anyways, we're going to get a rinse and I'll get back with you in a second. So we just finished rinsing these two sides, and I don't know if you can see that. Looking pretty bad, to be honest. Doesn't show up on the camera that much, I don't think, but it's thundering over there and stuff, so we're going to try and beat that. About to go over here and soap these last two sides. Work my way out of here. Hopefully roll up hoses and be out of here before the rain hits me. So follow up with you guys after I after I get done knocking this side out and under the portico. I'm not going to take a whole lot more video here because of the looming weather. The hand. See the big hand? The hand of the Lord. Anyways. Here we go. 12 seconds later. Alright, all done. I gotta roll up my pressure hose. Got a buddy with me. Hey, buddy. 
came out really nice. lightning over there right now so I'm trying to hurry and get out of here as you can see all the crud that was on there is gone swept off the patio for him cleaned all this up cleaned up really well super happy with this job Ooh. the rain is right here so I'm gonna roll up and I'll hit you guys up either when I'm back at the house or when I'm driving or something like that well, all done with that job. I'm leaving. I just beat the rain. <laughs> it's uh, looking like it's gonna sprinkle on me a little bit here. Beautiful countryside, um, but yeah. Pretty easy job, you know. I think that's the biggest thing to remember on a lot of these is that, you know, what we're doing isn't super difficult always on our part. Some houses I wash are really, really difficult. Sometimes they're not so much. Um, the house that you guys saw me do that had the, the wood ceiling, um, client reached out to me uh, day before yesterday and was like, you know, there's spots on the ceiling and you can see them here. Um, I had to go out, reseal some of that ceiling uh, as much preventative maintenance as I did still wasn't quite enough and that's the thing some jobs are a little more difficult than others this one was relatively easy it's a metal building pretty easy uh, one percent house wash typically takes care of them so you know what can I say an apple a day will keep the doctor away but that's what they say told you guys we got a new pump um, this is a 13 gallon a minute, or that's what it's rated at. It's actually, let's see, it's the, I know this is not going to focus. XWL50.20N, 50 liters per minute, 200 bar, 1450 RPM, which is for belt drive. So 50 liters per minute, if you do the conversion on that, that's 13.2 gallons per minute. 200 bar is 2900 PSI. And the 1450 RPM is for belt drive, but like I said, we're going to be doing a gear drive. And this just came in the mail. I'm going to open it with you guys. I haven't seen it yet. But let's look and see what we got. Pretty, pretty clean. Looks good. That's uh, cast. So this is it. I'm sure you guys have seen this on some other people's builds. This is the B, the B. 24 P it's a it's actually gear ratio 2.176 to 1 so it is made to reduce 3600 rpms down to the 1450 rpms so that we can produce 13.2 gallons per minute at 2900 psi now once we put all this together into the build we're going to do a flow test on everything and see what all is actually going to be flowing at. I am, I'm going to tell you the secret here, I am planning to dual feed this pump. I'm going to have a one inch inlet here and a one inch inlet here. I'm going to dual feed this, it's going to come out and then I'm going to get a half inch line. So this is actually a 3 8 plug but this will be a little bit of a restriction and we're going with a Pulsar unloader. The Pulsar unloader is a true half inch unloader. They're more expensive, they're like $250, $260. Um, but they're flow sensitive, which is what I like. I do not like trap pressure unloaders, I like flow unloaders. I'm using the ZK1 right now. Getting great results on it, on the machine I've already had. I thought about buying one that was already built and a lot of guys are going with the TSF 2021 or the 2221. And that's great and all, but with choosing your own pump, and choosing your own gearbox and choosing your own motor, you get the choice of modifying things and changing things. There's a lot of pumps that a lot of guys aren't using because they're not mainstream. And that's one of the things about it is I'm not really a mainstream pump guy. So I'm going with this pump. This is, again, the ARXWL50.20N. I'm pairing it with this gearbox which is the YGR 1000P 
We're going to be running on the Predator 670 motor, and I am running a Pulsar unloader, half inch line. Um, I do not run through the reel, so there's no restrictions there. We're going to run the first 100 foot, one half inch hose, and then we're going to reduce down to 3 eighths, and I'm going to be surface cleaning. My plan currently with the surface cleaner um, is to use the one that I have. I'm going to change out the tips, see what it does, see how it performs. I know I'm probably going to be running with that bad boy, but then down the road I'd like to buy either the Mini Mondo or the Whisper Wash 36. Anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, smash the subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications, do all of the fun YouTubey things. And I'm out of here. That's how you wash a metal building, and this is what we've got to come in the future. So see you guys next time.